so breaking it off the rise of Pink Panthers, we're team five, um, Abi, Blanca, myself, Felicia, Laura, and Mary Dawn. Just a brief introduction. Um, we covered Pink Panthers. She's a 21 year old singer songwriter um, from the UK who went viral, um, as we probably all know, um, on TikTok. Um, we wanted to look into some of the factors that differentiated her continued rise in fan growth um, by doing a comparative study uh, between herself and another artist that had a uh, song go viral on TikTok around the same time. Um, we use social media sentiment and looking at Spotify listenership. Um, as you'll see in the rest of the presentation. Hi, yeah, so here's just a quick snapshot of each artist. Um, just wanna highlight kind of the differences in their approach to their career and branding. So we have, you know, an up and coming young artist, Pink Panther S, who just began versus Matt Maltese, who's kind of been around for almost a decade. Um, Matt is kind of this more traditional musician who does more music in the studios and performing, whereas, um, Pink Panther S kind of identifies herself as the child of the internet. Um, she really leans into her TikTok audience and kind of will show snippets of her song. And if, you know, there's good reactions, she'll kind of um, release that full version of the song. Um, so yeah, that's a... So first impressions count. Apart from charts and numbers, we wanted to see what the public opinion was towards Matt Maltese and uh, Pink Panthers when they first became viral. And what better way to do that than by using Twitter. So um, we retrieved about 5,000 tweets uh, for each artist um, between uh, late December, late, this, late 2020, sorry, and early 2021, um, uh, just to see if we could garner some type of relationship between these initial reactions and their eventual career trajectory. So we used um, sentiment analysis um, to see what the sentiment, general sentiment of these tweets were. And we can see that for Pink Panthers, she's mostly positive with 56%, whereas Matt Maltese has a slightly lower um, positive rating of 40%. And he has double the amount of negative uh, sentiment that, that she had. And then we also did topic modeling. So with these tweets, we wanted to see if there's a big way that we could, instead of scrolling through all 5,000 of them, just get uh, themes or topics that were um, coming out from the tweets. So with Pink Panthers, a lot of the tweets were praising her, urging people to listen to her music. 32% were non-English tweets, probably showing that she has an international audience. And the remaining 28% focused on her story, her youth, her aesthetic. Whereas for Matt Maltese, 38% of the tweets um, had topics of how they were sad, his music was sad, um, a bit somber on the slower type, and uh, the other 31% compared his music to artists of a similar sound, and the remaining just had a bunch of different themes that we couldn't group them into just one distinct topic. So here we actually just wanted to um, compare um, the different sort of um, fan behavior that like um, we could actually see on TikTok when we are comparing Pink Panthers and Matt Maltese. Um, so here like we actually have a donut basically uh, comprises of all the video counts uh, from all the tracks that both of them have. Um, and uh, it's actually pretty um, interesting and it's it's like if you can actually see like um, one of the videos on Pink Panthers uh, actually reached a peak position of 58 globally while uh, Matt Maltese uh, who actually had a, a viral hit in 2021 um, uh, he actually his video like the the track that actually got viral uh, reached a peak position of 137. Um, here we actually are trying to compare um, the Spotify monthly listeners with uh, TikTok followers. Uh, this slide actually focuses more on Pink Panthers. The next one basically focuses on Matt Maltese. Uh, the idea really here is that like, um, we wanted to kind of relate both of them and like kind of see if there's actually any sort of relationship between these two. And while it doesn't seem like there is, it, it actually kind of showcases that maybe there's actually more contextual data that is needed to form an actual relationship between uh, followers and on, uh, on TikTok and maybe a virality in like Spotify monthly listeners. Um, okay, so yeah. the takeaway from, oh, 
I'm so sorry. Time is up. Oh. Can, can we get an extra 30 seconds? I think the other group did, just so we can do our takeaways. Okay, fine. 30 okay. seconds. Okay, so the takeaway from all this is um, Pink Panther's just her whole distinct brand and story. Um, in this day and age right now, the aesthetic is Y2, uh, Y2K, also just internet aesthetics, just TikTok being used right now for artists to break out of, um, break out as artists, as well as her intentional content creation, her posting every day in the beginning of her TikTok era, and until she got a hit, and also even with that, with the audience engagement, she also made sure to just put snippets at first, and if she got a good reaction out of um, her snippets, she would put the full versions out of them. And also, we um, exploring new opportunities. Um, they're identifying opportunities for engagement for audiences outside of TikTok, such as um, videos and Facebook, sh uh, YouTube Shorts, etc., um, and expanding engagement communities like Discord. Great, thank you so much. Um, so, judges, again, I will invite you to raise your hands if you have any questions. So Carlos. So quick one on, on the country. So you were highlighting countries and you had more as a percentage of the total. Did you look at how different countries that were trending over time? And then you had just one little thing around negative sentiment. You saw how one of the artists was about sad, solemn music that can impact massively the, the, the sentiment analysis as it's not perfect. And sometimes you have to manually curate it. Just a, a little side on that one. But do you look at how countries were trending? Because sometimes they can actually be given the virality one to the other and, and they are important in how you're embracing the communities. Um, so we actually did look at like the trend uh, when it comes to the top countries uh, for TikTok uh, videos for both of them. Um, it was more or less like you can actually see both of these artists are actually from the UK. So it makes sense um, for, for both of their tracks to actually uh, be much more popular in the UK and United States is an obvious um, popular market for them as well. Um, another really interesting um, market that actually came from Matt Maltese was the Philippines. Um, and uh, for um, Think Panthers, it was just mostly uh, UK, US, Australia. Um, and the trends were kind of like, because I think the data was more or less, um, uh, the, the position, peak position data was uh, probably seemed like it was a global uh, data. So it was mostly like the same throughout, like when it comes to the countries. So I'm not segmenting by country there. So your sentiment, you never segmented by country. Yeah, it pro it, yeah, like this, the sentiment isn't probably segmented by the countries, but like it was just like the count for like the yeah. total video views. Yeah, one of our, what, we had a limitation slide and you actually touched on both of those, Carlos. One was we were interested in diving more into each of those specific territories to see how that looked, um, as well uh, with the time and the limited data resources. Um, it made it difficult to kind of tease out more of that sentiment analysis outside of the tool we used. Sounds good. Great. And then um, Alex? Carlos actually covered off uh, my question, so I've got my hand down. Thank you. <laughs> Alexandra? Yes, I was just wondering why you would recommend uh, Discord at the end. So again, um, that was, we wanted to have some takeaways and other projects to explore, like questions to expand on. I think that was um, something we were also thinking about like in approaching the project. So in those takeaways, we were also thinking about what other platforms would be more appropriate where an artist um, that may not be the same as Pink Panthers or have the same kind of engaged audience as her um, may find that engagement or a find success like with uh, building a fan base. So um, Discord is a really great one um, for direct contact between artists and fans um, and also uh, Facebook short uh, video, short form video. Um, so again, those were other ones we wanted to uh, explore, but we had to really keep a focus to, to kind of get everything together for the weekend.